Ta-da! Good afternoon, everybody. It always amazes me how much goes into just starting one of these videos. But yeah, welcome to Butterfly Square Garden. I'm so happy to see you. Welcome to art class. Let's jump right into it. We draw every single day, so if you're watching this video, you probably already know what we're going to do. We're going to draw a face vase, just like that button right over there. So if you see it, go ahead and give it a click for a like and subscribe. We're going to talk about what it means to be an artist and how to start drawing because anyone can draw. That's what we do. We're going to teach other people how to draw as a community and we're going to do some anatomy lessons which really comes in handy when you're doing figure drawing which is how we conclude the the classroom with some self-portraiture and then critique and then I guess that's it. You can go home. Oh, man, itchy. Uh, but don't worry, I don't have COVID because, hey, check it out. As of today, ba -ba -da -da, right there, um, I got my shot and yeah, it was fun. By the way, if you guys want to skip my talking, just click the, the link and uh, you can skip to where I draw. But yeah, I'm just going to chat with you for a second because we're building a community. We can talk, right? Um, yeah, I got the shot. It was the first one of the Pfizer and pretty much everyone is eligible for it now so go out and get your shot we want as many people vaccinated as fast as possible um, so we can have healthy communities like yeah wear your mask but then once we have up to 90 percent immunity then that's when things can kind of start going back to like I mean I don't want to go back to the way things were they were terrible before they could totally be way better so um, <laughs> not to say that there wasn't a lot of good things I don't want to focus on that but like uh, yeah three-day work week basic income uh, free health care how about like you know a basic education access to college education that doesn't you know put you um, in debt for the rest of your life. What else? Maybe senior care, child care. Um, I don't know. Housing, mental, mental health. There's lots of things. But what we're doing right now is um, we're going to be drawing because it's good for our mental health and because it feels good. And yeah, that's just how we're going to start the video. Oh man, it's only like three minutes. I usually talk for way longer. So you guys are lucky today. Maybe I'm getting better at this. So just for reference, this book talks about how anyone can draw if you really learn what is necessary. And there are five basic skills that are really visual skills. If you look at something and you can see the edges of it, then you've got the, the first one down. And then if you can see a space, like if you can tell the difference between a circle and a square, then that's number two, perception of spaces. Three is um, if you can tell the difference between where objects are in space, then you've got relationships, which is three. Lights and shadows is four. So, I mean, come on, basic. And then number five is the gestalt, which is the first four put together. Um, there you go. I just summed up like the first half of this book. The rest of the book talks about how we've got a left brain, which is linguistic and dominant, and a right brain, which is visual and pattern finding, um, but it's subdominance. And this book says that in order to gain access to the, the part of the brain that's specialized for drawing, you actually need to give the left brain a task that it will reject, which is drawing. Oh, look at my curls. Um, <laughs> sorry, I get distracted. So yeah, um, if you've ever been drawing and you feel like kind of uh, frustrated, that means you're on the right track because it means you're crossing over. So um, <clears throat> yeah, the exercises in this book kind of teach you how to feel it out for yourself. Um, and then and then you can draw. So this one is all about uh, edges, but it also helps you feel the difference. So let's kind of unpack that and do it together. I'm going to draw in green today. I don't think I've really done it in green, 
before. Uh, I'm going to sharpen my pencil because it just feels good to have a sharp edge. And here's the exercise. We're going to draw the first side silent and then we're going to draw the second side and talk and describe what it is we're drawing. So one, two, three, go. Now for the second side, neck, chin, lips, top lip, nose, nostrils, forehead, and then hairline, and that's it. And then you close it up on the end. Boom! How long did that take? That was maybe, I don't know, they usually take me about 30 seconds. <laughs> but. I would say that's pretty symmetrical. I would say that's a win. We always start class by doing this. I noticed this guy always has a really flat forehead, so maybe he's just a Neanderthal. That's fine with me. I literally have no qualms. We've done this exercise so many times that it's second nature. Now I'm going to draw a little blue on the outside, even though I think red was what felt right, but I chose blue in my hand. Anyways. Yeah, so the reason that we used our words when we drew the second half was because the exercise is designed um, in a way that the instructions cause your brain to be uh, left brain focused because it's like the linguistic, which is actually um, making things harder for you. So if you were doing this exercise with me, maybe you felt a pause, uh, you froze in time because your brain was calculating on how to solve the problem of which direction to go. But that's just really all what drawing is. If you can, if you can do this exercise, and the book says set a timer for like five minutes. So you're really supposed to take your time. It, it, it literally says five minutes and um, it can get to a point where you do it in 30 seconds. Like, obviously, it's not perfect, but it's two faces right there. I mean, if I wanted to get good at drawing faces, that's two faces right there. So, bam. I did want to use, ooh, look at that orange. That orange is calling out to me. I've got my Amazon Basics colored pencils. I'm still looking for my Prisma colors. Those are way better. So always remember to sign and date your work. Today is 4-16-2021, and this is my, I'm going to write down sigil. Do you guys know what a sigil is? It is actually a basic unit of magic. So um, if I were to say face vase, you would write out like face and I'm doing a tangent. Again, click the link if you want to skip forwards. But <laughs> um, face vase. A sigil means you'd reduce this. You take out the vowels. So I'm going to take out A, E. Oh, goodness. And then another A, E. And you've got F, C, F, S. And then you would combine those letters in a way that looks magical. So I would do maybe an F with a C around it and then a V with an S inside it. Uh, and then you can even go forwards. You can probably put them all together. So C, F, V, S. That's really small. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally on a tangent right now. I'm just having fun with sigils. So you can mess around, do a whole bunch of designs, and find one that looks good. Um, I'm going to cross it out even more and just do FV. But I do like the C. So let's keep that. Do, 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 do. Like, honestly, the sigil is this, the drawing. That's my sigil that I do every single time. But I'm just having a little fun with you guys. Because, you know, I, I got my vaccine shot, so I got all the hard work done for today. Do, 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 do. It just looks, I like that FC, face fuzz, but it needs a V somewhere. 
Do 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 and S. But eh, now it looks like a weird pie. So moving on, we already talked about this. It also talks about pure contour drawing. Go to a previous video if you want to know what that is. No, I'm kidding. It's drawing the wrinkles in your hand, but not looking at your own drawing, like only keeping your eyes on the wrinkles in your hand. Do, 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 do. Set a timer for five minutes, and the left brain will immediately be like, stop, stop, do something else, get me out of here. I don't want to do this. I know what a, a hand is. That's just boring wrinkles. Um, if you keep going, It'll be like, right brain, take the wheel, I'm done. Um, and then you'll feel like a calm just wash over you and you'll suddenly relax. And then um, you won't have the voice chattering in your mind the whole time. And you can just accurately draw exactly what you're seeing, just like a mirror would. Um, yeah, so practice this a couple of times and if you can if you can do it then that means you're on the right track i mean it's kind of hard to gauge where people are in their ability to draw other than just drawing all the time so we always say that art artists and scientists doctors medicine in the renaissance they all work together da dissecting the cadavers so it's all just about knowledge the whole first chapter is about the language let's just you know lateral is moving outwards that's one thing I, I'm, I'm flipping through the first chapter but let's just learn that today lateral means moving out I'll even I'll make a little out means lateral so okay class what is what is lateral points point with your thumbs that way lateral away from the medial line so this is the medial line we just learned two things it's a little axis interesting okay so hmm, getting all spiritual over here I like working on chapter two because that's the skull and I've been drawing lots of faces and you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday we did this skull with the masseter muscle going here. I'll just show you what we did yesterday, oh my goodness. Yesterday we draw this skull because we always draw the skulls. Um, and then we added in the masseter and the temporalis and we decided that today we would draw the skull front on and draw in the frontalis and I keep thinking obscurus but I know the word is like procurus I think I think it's procurus so frontalis procurus We'll find out after we draw the skull front on. How long is it going to take me? We're only 13 minutes in. It's an hour long class and we usually run over time. So, so far we did the face vase with a couple sigils. I'm still working on that. Oh, maybe we'll come out with a good design. That's the most pleasing to me. Um, but I know that the V is important, but I don't know. There is kind of like a V there. So maybe... It'll be like this, like this. That's what I'm up to so far, but then it would need an S, which kind of I would just put there. <laughs> but then it just, yeah, it doesn't work. I want to use the back of the page, but um, I'm not going to do that. So, okay, moving on. By the way, tell me more about yourselves since we are building a community of artists where I teach y'all, y'all teach me, we raise kids and teach them, and they can teach the grandparents, who definitely won't listen to us, but they'll listen to the kids, maybe, I don't know. These dang old people. Are you an old person? Drop a comment below. I'm, I'm 30, but it depends on what metric you're using because some people believe very different things 
So I probably pulled out like a whole bunch of papers, but I lost them. So here comes another page. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there, by the way? Are you in good health? Are you drinking lots of water? <clears throat> this is probably where I'm going to have the link skip y'all to, which I usually say at the end of the video, but we're getting better at having our placement. I shrink my face because I'm, I'm not drawing myself yet, but that'll come after this. So we're going to draw this skull. I just dropped some shit. Ugh. I'm going to clean in the morning. So, skip forwards. Here we go. Drawing the skull, and here's going to be the frontalis and the procurus. Um, how long is it going to take us? I don't know. We'll find out. We want to do it right. And what color do I want to do today? I'm kind of feeling... You know what? Let's just start off with gray like we did last time, and then we'll go over with the muscles in colored pencil and eventually we'll be painting eventually we'll be doing charcoal but I really want us to you know focus on the basics and I just love the idea of, of just simple pencils this is more than a simple pencil it's a Kurutoga 05 from Japan and it rotates the tip so that you always have a fine point which other pencils don't do um, but it's the same as anything here we go. I start with kind of, you know, like a circle-y thing. Uh, just making sure that it's nice and round. And then I, I drop it down just a little bit and close it up. So I've got, what is this? It's like a watermelon seed kind of shape. <laughs> So I've got my like rainbow arc up top. It's like a C. Really just wanting to get a nice, I probably shouldn't be focusing on getting such a, a line like that, but oh well. Um, that ain't going anywhere. So right underneath the crest of the head is the front, well, the frontal bone is like your forehead, so that's kind of where we we start. <clears throat> it's important when you're drawing to have a start and an end, so make sure, like, I want my, my drawing to be, like, about this high to about this low, and same thing with the sides. Like, if you don't know where to start on your drawing, start with that. Otherwise, you can go off the page, like, really easily, so... Just simple things. You don't have to have a million construction lines, but it is important to at least know where you're going a little bit. So, yeah. You can work top down, middle, out. I don't recommend just like hopping around, but I mean, you kind of have to in order to keep it all a cohesive element. So, I'm just doing, I, I'm surprised I'm even doing this at all, but... Um, <laughs> I'm using construction lines, which is kind of happening uh, a little naturally because I've been doing this like a lot now. Um, what I'm drawing right now is called the um, temporal, superior temporal line, which is uh, the temple line right over here. That's how we start pretty much always. This is the zygomatic bone, which is the cheekbone. And in the middle, basically from the top of the zygomatic bone to the bottom of the zygomatic bone, that's why I drew these horizontal lines, which you can't even see, but that's what I did. Um, I'm working on getting a better camera. <coughs> And this here, in between the temple line, or the superior temporal line, is the superciliary arch, which is your brow line. And in between your brow line is this funny trapezoid called the glabella, one of my favorite bones, the glabella right there. 
Underneath the glabella, we know is the nason or the root of the nose. So I'm just slightly putting in a couple, like maybe it'll be there, maybe it won't be there. I don't know. But we are getting better at drawing these now that we've been doing it for many, many days. We've been doing this for a pretty long time now, everybody. As you may want to check back in our other videos, we've done some fun other exercises in the book, like upside down drawing was, you know, a really popular one. And I haven't actually done pure contour drawing on camera because you guys would like f run screaming from my channel like he's making us watch him draw wrinkles in his hand. So I'm going to ask y'all to do that on your own because according to drawing on the right side of the brain, that is the most important exercise that you can do of all um, to get better at drawing. Um, and it's so counterproductive because it doesn't make a good drawing, but it's so important. And on top of that, it says it revives your childlike wonder in beauty in the world. So yeah, if you like looking at flowers, paint a flower because then you get to look at a flower for like a very long time. If you like people, drawing them means you can just look at them for like a long time. You don't always have to be watching TV or, or doing something like playing video games. You can just sit down and look at something. <laughs> That's literally what people used to do. They would sit in the park and just like look at geese and squirrels and stuff. People still do it. At the park by my house, they do. And it makes me really proud because they're like feeding the squirrels and the geese and stuff and they're taking their children to play on the jungle gym. So mm, it's just, you know, especially after such a long cold winter. I'm like, yay, life. I see life. Um, So underneath the zygomatic bone, we've got the maxilla, which kind of is coming out in the middle. These are the orbitals, which are the eye sockets. So learn your anatomy, everybody, because it's going to be important down the line um, on either side of the maxilla coming down is what's called the mandible and the mandible comes basically from the back the side of this I'm, I'm kind of lining it up with the line that I had made earlier <laughs> then it kind of closes in so we've got like the upper teeth here do 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 and then the lower teeth underneath it and the teeth used to really freak me out, but after doing them so many times, I've I've come to realize that it's actually like really easy um, as long as like you're not afraid of them. Like if you really put in the work and draw them for a couple of times, y it's like they won't surprise you anymore. You won't be like, oh my God, it was so hard to draw them. I never want to draw them again. It's like you draw them and it's hard. And then the next time you draw them, it's it's like, oh wait, I, I kind of did it with muscle memory. So that's, I just fixed something that I always mess up on, which is making this side in too far. And I fixed it. So yeah, anyways, what I was saying with the teeth is, what I used to do was just do a gesture. I would do like rainbow arcs and be done with it. And then I started getting into the details and I was like kind of struggling because I was like, well, now when I'm focusing on drawing the details, they would like go out of the direction of, of like a nice swoop arc would keep them all in line. So anyways, that's what I'm trying to say. I combine those two things by having a general swoop first and then I fill it in with the detailed teeth after. So that way, um, it's the best of both worlds. The 
detailed teeth are in place. Anyways, um, so we've got four like rectangular ones first, and then underneath four smaller rectangular ones that um, do this thing. They almost look like little clams in the bone. Um, so that's four, and then we've got one, two, okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. How many teeth do we have so far? <laughs> There's supposed to be like eight on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one behind it that you can't see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good enough for me. As long as I can get it like basically symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. So let's do that again on the bottom. Always be checking back and forth when you're drawing and the reference because otherwise you'll fuck it up. So <laughs> aren't we having fun? Art feels good. I'm enjoying myself. So I'm, I'm not the only one who watches these videos anymore, which makes me really happy. Even if you guys come on here to be like, you're tacky and I hate you. Um, <laughs> I would be like, I don't, yay, someone's watching my video. Um, no, but someone gave me like a critique and it was a little bit of a rough critique. And I was just like so pumped because it meant that they had watched my video and they heard what I said. So I'm like, Whoa, win! I'm so happy. I'm starting to go dark now because I basically put everything in. Um, and I just want to have like a nice clean line because uh, that's just what artists do. They, they like developing their aesthetic. Dude, dude, and I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> So let's go a little darker with the eye sockets. Usually I do everything and then I do the teeth last, even though um, that's like not what you're supposed to do. So I've, I've definitely noticed the muscle memory is totally kicking in. Um, my brain doesn't have to be like, oh no, how many teeth are there? I'm like, well, there's 32 teeth, eight on each side, and divided into four, and it's actually very simple. So, um, do, 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 do. I've drawn these little squiggles like so many times that you just know where they are. Eventually, we want to get to the point where all of us, not just me, but all of us can draw like our entire skeleton with our eyes closed. Um, so. That would be really cool. Mm -hmm. And it kind of goes like this, but then again underneath. And there's these really weird, like, flame shaped things. It's totally supposed to go out further, too. So do you guys have any favorite artists? Do you have any favorite meals? Um, favorite cartoons? Are you manga watchers? Um, one of my favorite students uh, was drawing manga in his own free time. And uh, his mom was like super excited and trying to get me to encourage him and like get them him to show off his work. And he wouldn't even show me his art teacher. <laughs> um, but it just reminded me of myself when I was younger. So, And it looked pretty good from what I saw. But anyways, he was so embarrassed. But anyways. Um, so, do, 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 do. Here is the mastoid process. Sorry for yelling, but we finally... You know, we've been doing these videos for so long that it's it's really kind of validating to you know, to reach for the vocabulary and for it to be there for me. Um, 
you know, knowing where the shadows are. But seriously, the mastoid process took forever to learn. Um, do, 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 do. And so did the temporomandibular joints, which is right here and there. Temporomandibular joint. Isn't that fun to say? Just like glabella. Um, so what are your favorite words? Because I love saying temporomandibular joint. I love saying glabella. Ooh, I'm getting, these lines are coming out nicer too. Um, like the right brain is what's seeing the shadows here. The left brain, it can't even comprehend any of this. It's just so funny. Um, so cheekbones kind of round. What's the cheekbone called? Zygomatic bone, everybody. So this is shadowy. This is all very shadowy. And I drew it so lightly, but let's make it dark. And let's make this dark. And let's make all of the lines darker. This is coming out pretty good so far. I mean, hey, what do you expect? We're kind of flying through it. Um, we're at 30 minutes, so I, I couldn't have been drawing this for more than 15 minutes so far. Um, so, oh, you can't see that on camera at all. <clears throat> A goal of mine as an artist is to, ooh, I like how that's coming out. I'm starting to use the pencil almost like a pen because I'm just like so lazy. Um, I don't want to do blending. When I see people, when I was applying to art schools and I would do things like blend with my finger, um, I remember applying to art schools and and the people being like, did you use your finger when you were blending, you know, your nose in your self-portrait because you had to do like when you're applying to art college they're going to ask you for self-portraits so um i was like yeah and they were like don't don't do that it's it looks messy and it's unprofessional so i mean maybe you blend with your finger and you that's totally fine for you that's your style if you can make it look good then um th you get to prove them wrong it's really that's the best part about art um do 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 but yeah um i'm too lazy to blend i would rather just lay it all down uh and not worry about like doing all that <laughs> also i've decided i'm going to start um scanning these and uploading them so that you guys can see like a picture of what they look like because up until now I'm literally just like flipping through the book and to show you guys what I've done um, but sometimes some people want to skip ahead to see me draw and some people uh, just want to see the picture which is totally fine so I think I'm gonna make like an Instagram account where uh, it's I'm gonna use that to upload the images of the work that we do together oh crap I liked that and I messed it up um, so yeah to upload the work that we do together so that it's kind of like if I ever want to reference it in the future it'll be right there um, like all of my kids work um, I have Facebook albums but that's not good enough I need it to be more visible yeah, they have a whole book. It's crazy. So I want to make some sort of like band or something, but uh, it'll be of visual artists. And I want to be called original content because that's what we would be in charge of producing original content. Um, and I also want to be in an orchestra called the Open Source Orchestra where everyone is working together <laughs> and it's all just like free music and stuff so this looks really good on paper it doesn't look as good on camera <laughs> but I'm trust me um pretty happy with it so far oops I really made myself big look at me it'll be even worse over here though um yeah that's a pretty good skull do I have any comments I mean, I'm sure if I were to spend more time on it, I would find things to critique myself on, like, 
where is it? Everything's backwards. Right there can definitely use a shadow. So I'm just going to do that. Um, it's weird looking at this. Oh, you can't see what I just did. Um, oh, I got to stop saying um. I've watched my videos, and I say um like a million times per video. So let's just take that out of the vocabulary. I almost said it right there. <laughs> Back to what we were doing. We have re 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 redrawn the skull. I'm like, what am I trying to say? Re-represent re something. Yeah, we drew the skull. This could be darker in here. All of that can definitely be darker as well. <laughs> A drawing is never finished. You'll just always keep adding to it. So just learn to be comfortable with whatever crap you come up with that day. <laughs> Do, 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 do. This could all be darker, oh my goodness. I just, I don't want to work on this forever because we're about to get to the muscles. <laughs> so this book has, I don't know what to call it, half-toned paper. It's toned paper. So everything you put, the dark line is there, but you can also use light for highlights and you can do that on white paper. So... I'm going to put a little note to myself and say, get toned paper. When I was in art school, the teacher made us cover a paper in charcoal, and then we would use an eraser to do a highlights. You can do that too, but I just want to get a book that has toned paper so I can just draw highlights in because it really it makes such a difference you know I want to draw in the highlight but you can't do that because you can only go darker which means you have to draw around the highlight um, but that's not what they're doing here they're drawing in the highlight so anyways I want to be able to put the highlight on top of the work that I've already done but it's important to learn all of the ways to do the work so I am a, I'm still a huge fan of just basic pencil, but eventually we'll get into charcoal. Let's do a little roundabout of the skull without looking at the book. So do 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 we've got frontal bone, paredial bone, temporal bone is on the side, occipital bone is in the back with the occipital external occipital protuberance in the on the back bottom. Um, mastoid process is this right here. Let's go back in the middle. Glabella, superciliary arch, temporal, superior temporal line, uh, zygomatic bones, cheekbone. On the side, it goes across. Um, that's where the orbital comes from, which is the eye socket. But uh, yeah, zygomatic process is like the arch the zygomatic arch is like this like it's the cheekbone but it goes further back um yep that'll basically line up with the external auditory metis which is like your ear hole and underneath your ear hole is the temporomandibular joint which is the top of the jawbone are you guys having fun class what bone is connected to the what bone we're going to learn it all. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Maxilla is the upper jawbone. And then the lower jawbone um, of the mandible is, we've got, again, temporomandibular joint. This is the remus. This is the angle of the mandible. This is the body of the mandible. On the end, we've got uh, tubular protuberance external protuberance what am i trying to say um to hmm that's interesting yeah this one is only half known we're testing our knowledge you got to find your your dark spots this is the, the hard part's finding out what you don't know um n again um nason is the root of the nose and then the nasal bone uh the nasal cavity is your nose hole. Uh, this is the vomer bone, like this weird like dolphin fin bone right in the middle. 
I can't believe external mental protuberance. No, that's. Huh, I don't know. I'm going to have to double check after we're done with this. Upper and lower dental arch, but that's also incorrect. What are we forgetting? There's a sphenoid bone, which is kind of on the side. And I mean, that's really a lot of it. That's so many words, guys. And I'm missing, I, I'm still missing some. Ethmoid bone, I think, might be like here. All right, let's check. Blah, da, 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 frontal bone, superior temple. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Mental tubercles, I couldn't say it. And mental protuberance. I did say mental protuberance, but I couldn't say mental tubercles. Did I? I don't know. I kind of mixed it up. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. We literally said everything else on that page. What about on this page? Did we miss anything? Do 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 mental protuberance is what it says on this one. Mental protuberance and mental protuber oh I'll remember that sooner or later. Do 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 um very proud of myself for knowing every bit of it. Um even the hard ones, except for the chin. I can't believe I messed up that one. So what else? What else? What else? on this part every single time we draw the face we're going to draw the skull and you know we're going to add to the knowledge that we have because we already know it's easy so the lacrimal bone was the one that was in the eye i couldn't i couldn't get that so lacrimal bone is like this one right here let's just add it in lacrimal bone what color do we want to do it green maybe lacrimal bone um, inferior nasal concha. That's like another, I'm just going to do a green here too. It's like there. Isn't that weird? You've got so many crazy bones. I said vomer bone, even though it still sounds weird in my mouth. Ethmoid bone is like right next to the lacrimal bone. It's like, how can you even tell the difference? And, um... Sphenoid bone, we said, which is like here. Okay, so it gets even more convoluted, but we're going to just move on because there's going to be no fucking end to it. Um, I want to do the neck bones, but I'm not going to do that, I guess, right now. But they don't, yeah. They have it from a, a profile view, which we have practiced, but we didn't. We didn't get anything more than that. So I just showed you this is what we did yesterday. Massature and temporalis. And let's see if I was right. Frontalis and procurus. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Procurus. Pronunciation. Proceris. Proceus. Procerus. Okay. So I was wrong. Procerus. <laughs> Read books, people. It. It expands your mind. You don't need drugs. You just need books. I'm going to finish this up really quickly because it's going to be so freaking easy. Um, we already got all the work done. So the frontalis, it's literally dividing the frontal bone like in half with a little butt shape um, or a, a boob shape or it could be a swoopy V. Um, and then along the superciliary arch, it's connected. Let's see what it's connected to. And did I even pronounce it right? Right. Frontalis or frontalis? Okay. Latin, fronds of frontis, forehead, brow. Interesting. We're learning Latin. Are you kidding me? I just want to draw a good profile picture. And I'm learning freaking Latin. <laughs> yeah. But if you can draw a self-portrait, make it your profile picture on Facebook and everyone will love it. Uh, and they'll love that you can speak Latin. Like, what the hell? So, yeah. I guess frontis means forehead. So, mu musculos occipitofrontalis. Venter frontalis. I feel like freaking Harry Potter right now. Occipitofrontalis. Is this a magical language? So basically, I'm just kidding around, but I'm like kind of serious. Also, this is 
not even um, in the right spot, but it's kind of too late now. Do, 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 I'll just draw more. <laughs> no one will tell if you mess up if you just put more mistakes on top of your mistake. That's the truth. Um, I'm just kidding. It's really mostly just white men who fail upwards. And y'all look like dumbasses when you're doing it. Like, everyone else knows what's going on. Do, 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 but it's all a men's club. Um, I find it so funny that some men have vaginas and some women have penises because it just, like, throws everything off. And I'm not even talking about, like, trans men and women. I'm just, like... In general, you know, sex is non-binary. So stop trying to make it so. <laughs> it's a spectrum. So I'm probably going in way too dark, but this is my first time, and I can always erase. Um, and it doesn't even have defining lines like this in the page. It's just got... Uh, fibrous lines but I really want to hammer home you know what we're learning today so the origin is the front border near hairline so I guess it's literally you know your hairline or of epicranial aponeurosis oh my god this is awesome and the insertion is uh, skin and sub continuous tissue of eyebrow so it basically says it goes from here to here which is what we drew and it's got like white around it but I'm not gonna draw that in so anyways how do we want to do this there's lots of fibrous lines so I'm gonna draw them in really quick <laughs> I'll get better at it but um, they have you going in the same direction. Maybe let's do a little erasing because I'm kind of fighting with the... No, let's keep the shadows. I mean, why not? The shadows are already there. That's why we just did the whole freaking anatomy, right? Um, yeah, so I can't draw in this highlight. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing a couple fibrous materials uh, for underneath and then I'm gonna draw more on top with I guess a finer line because I'm like getting pretty dull at this point do 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 so frontalis frontalis and proceris if I had a magic wand and I said those words then I guess I would make muscles in your forehead is this like medicinal magic because there is medicinal magic and madam what's it madam pomfrey is who's 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 in charge of running the hospital of hogwarts will someone look this up for me i'm too busy trying. <laughs> i'm just messing around everybody so we've got much more dark lines up here i'm totally screwing up my pa paper but whatever I want to move on. I want to move on. If I were to be here for like 30 minutes drawing in all the individual lines, it would probably be better. But I just like don't want to do that. I want to move on. I want to move on. But, 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 but. I say that a lot. I hear that a lot in like Japanese animes. There's always a but. All right. Is that good enough? Can you guys get the hang of frontalis? Yay. Let's actually make this little V a little smaller because I wasn't happy with where that was. So drawing is very good for every aspect of your life. I need a bigger eraser. Um, I've got lead all over my wrist, so a needle pulling thread. So is the other thing I say. Do you guys have words that you say a lot? I also do a 
I do that too much and my mom would be like when I was growing up Jason don't do that <laughs> it makes me sound gay and guess what happened oops so underneath the book shows um, the way that the front house works Ah, <laughs> that's funny to watch on camera. But yeah, it makes wrinkles on your forehead, so I will be keeping the frontalis in mind while I'm drawing my self portrait. Get toned paper. Good good Jason. Um and now we're going to draw the prosurus. Oh crap. How the fuck am I gonna draw it? Um I, I'm going to do it blue, I guess. Even though it's red here, I'm going to have to do it a different color. So the procerus muscle attachments, it basically goes from here to here. Do we need to read the whole thing? Fascia of upper part of lateral nasal cartilage. Um, the fascia of the nasal bone is the origin. And the insertion is into the skin of central region of forehead. Oh, it's totally upside down. That's so weird. So the frontalis goes from here to here, and the procerus goes from here to here. It goes in the opposite direction. I didn't really know muscles had directions like that, did you? Yeah, that's totally... I mean, the book is flipped. But I don't know if that's just because they did it that way in the book. The pr it's the action is having it pulled down. So, I, what does that mean? I'm gonna have to. I, I'm 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 learning the way muscles work. I mean, I guess this is really the whole point of doing anatomy. So anyways, um, it's going to have to overlap just a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. But it does go from here to here. And it's like a little fan shape. Going like this. So I'm going to block that in really quickly. It goes all the way and it attaches I mean it's so interesting it's it's just like I it, it you know where to go because I just drew the bones and it attaches right here <laughs> I'm blabbing and I'm also using the wrong pencil now can I erase anything that's in here at all do 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 that's the problem with drawing with colored pencils you just you can't erase uh do we need to erase? Maybe we'll just draw the red muscle on top of the red muscle. I'm fine with that. We'll make this one a little... Ugh, that one's orange and this one's red. Stupid! So we'll do that next time. Same thing over here. Those are red. I mean, that's orange, that's red, that's magenta, orange. Interesting. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try to match up the colors better but this time is too late so we'll just do whatever and we'll, we will let's add in the corrugator super silly because we're already here so we might as well um this part is all white down here and then it's got the fibrous material again going all across the glabella they didn't even mention the glabella but that's literally where it is anyways why the hell am I learning all this terminology if you're just going to use different terminology? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm also, like, not. <laughs> That's got to be darker for y'alls. So let's color that in orange because we were stupid and not paying attention to the color in the book. But that's kind of, that's fine with me. You can, you can see what that is. Uh, the next one's going to be a little more difficult. Now we've got corrugator super silly that isn't really mentioned in the book. Orbicularis oculi. Isn't that fun? Latin's fun. So let's just draw that in really quickly. Even though it's like... 
Uh, extra credit. This is extra credit. So if you guys um, want to do a little extra credit for homework and become even better artists than you already were, um, yep, just uh, do this. <laughs> I feel like I almost want to go in with pen. Um, because these lines are not dark enough for me. <laughs> actually, this is a 2B pencil, and I started out with an HB, so if you guys know what I mean, that's actually a pretty substantial difference. Do, 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 to me at least. I keep rubbing it all off. Ugh. My original teacher taught me how to... Um, where's a clean piece of paper? While you're drawing, have a paper underneath your your hand so that you don't smear. But mm, fuck it, I'm I'm a rebel punk without a cause, and I got my vaccine shot today. So this has been fun. Let's get a blue because that's the blue. Um, what is it? Corrugator super silly Procerus frontalis. And I thought I knew all the terminology. I clearly didn't at all. <laughs> do, 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 do. I love sharpening my pencils. It just feels good. Um, my kids would just sit there and sharpen pencils till there were nubs. And then they would just grab a new pencil and start sharpening that one down. Um, so... Respect the art materials was one of our expectations. We would always start class with expectations. I got to do that with you. Um, but I had them come up with our expectations. So I need you guys to help me come up with the expectations for online class. And then we'll read through them. I had 10. And we wouldn't even enter the classroom unless they were all like lined up and calm. Because a huge part of... of making good art is is like not smoking crack which is basically what kids are they're like people who have just smoked crack um so you gotta learn how to calm them down there's like shadow here in the book so i'm adding it in even though it wasn't on the other page what are you doing to me let's write them down let's actually write this down um so Frontalis pro serus. Frontalis means forehead in Latin. Procerus means long or tall. That's what it means, the origin of the term. So there is like literally nothing long or tall about this, but uh, I guess maybe on a. M m Molecular level, it's really big and long. And corrugator superciliary. That was one, two, three. And then we're color coding it. Corrugator supercilly. And the first one was red. Ooh, I'm leaving them out. I gotta put them away or or else. And the Procerus was orange. Is it really orange? Ugh, so boring. Can't they call it? Actually, orange is a good color for orange. But for blue, can't it be like aquamarine or azulo? Kingfisher blue. I like that. Okay. So that's that's kind of our anatomy practice for today. Let's give it a little background. How about yellow? And let's do... Okay, so this can go... I don't know how to put that in. Um, whatever. Yeah, I'll just uh, give it a little box. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. And today is 4 16 2021. I got my first vaccine shot today. Because this is also like a little journal. Um, and don't forget to sign it, JSJ, with my little butterfly. <gasps> did I do that with my last drawing? Where did it go? <clears throat> yeah, I didn't name it. Oh, what the heck? I did date it, but I didn't name it. 
JSJ. Do 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 do. Um, hopefully, eventually, we'll be adding your works to to this because it's going to be an open source practice book that shows people's progression. Like if I started out in my first video, I drew perfect. There's nowhere to go from there. So maybe it's a good thing that I started doing the videos before I knew what I was doing. Because um, a year from now, I, I'm pretty confident that we will be drawing very, very uh, professional self-portraits. So yeah, that's that. That's what we did. Pro Frontalis Purser Super Corrugator Super Ciliary. And that was super easy to do because we've spent a couple weeks going, like actually, for a couple of weeks, we've been working on the skull alone because um, I just I don't feel comfortable moving on until it's like really, really ingrained. And the only way to get it is is to do it over and over and over. So anyways, that's what I keep saying. If you're Bulbasaur and you want to evolve, you got to do your tackle 100 million times. Get that experience and then you can bow Venusaur. <laughs> Also, let's number the page. So this is 17, 18, 18. Hide that for a second. <sighs> We're already in an hour. Oof, goodness, I always want to do a quick video and we always run overboard. Do, 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 at least it's not too late. I'm not posting at like midnight. It's only 8 o'clock. But I'm going to try to do one early in the morning tomorrow. I did get my shot today, so I have an excuse. Um, I was going to do it before I left, but it was just too crazy. Yeah, all of that exercise, all that work was literally just for this moment so that we can um, draw a good portrait. Time to disrobe because guess who's the model? It's me. Stabbed by a needle today. Ta-da! Is that dust? No, I don't even know where all my freckles are. Um, by the time I'm done drawing myself, I will know where every single freckle on my body is, but I, I guess I don't know yet. And yeah, I'm like actually sore. So I'm reporting symptoms. I got stabbed by a needle and I'm sore on my arm. But that's really it. Uh, I haven't eaten much today. I had a, like a bowl of oatmeal and a banana and an apple. So I'm really kind of tired. I need to go to bed. Let's start drawing ourselves. But this is going to be like not very serious. Do, 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 do. But that's usually when I come out with like my best work. So isn't that kind of funny? Do, 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 do. The point of a gesture drawing is to just get in as much information as possible in like 30 seconds. You don't really want to spend a lot of time on your, your uh, gesture drawings, which is funny because I pretty much always end up spending like way too much time on them. <laughs> but I want to get good at sketching really fast. That's what I say in every single video. Um, some people have really nailed the skill of of having like a quick sketch. What am I trying to say? Um, and then uh, putting in some finishing touches and having a complete work. It actually is like a Japanese Zen, as far as I know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of other cultures do it, but I've learned from Alan Watts, and that's something that he talks about. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, it's like a calligraphy. It's like an art form of just doing that, so. It takes an accomplished artist to get to that point, though. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm just about done with this one. I'm going a little extra because once once you do your gesture and everything is in place, like you're just gonna naturally want to add to your drawing. Like we want to get to the point where where we can't stop drawing. Where it's like you know how some people say, "Oh, once I start reading a book, I'm gonna be up all night because I gotta finish the book." We want to get to a level uh, where we're like, "Wait, um, I just need to finish this drawing." You know, you're not the whole time. You're not like, oh, oh, oh I want to stop. I want to stop. I got to finish this. I got to draw. I got to set the timer for 20 minutes. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> so give yourself breaks, too. Do, 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 do. I'm done with this one. I think it was coming out. Um, Yeah, we're, all, we're over time. So it's... Every time I do two, they come out bad. But when I come out with three, at least one of them comes out good. So let's give it... Uh, I'm kind of really, really burnt out, though. <laughs> I'm burnt out. Do, 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 I'm starting with my jaw and my chin for some reason. I don't really know why. I'm drawing right over that other drawing because I just like don't give a f anymore. I'm seeing like these are kind of the the planes of my face. Um, let's see, I'm I'm getting a temple line over here, which helps divide the face up a little bit. You know, this is the frontal bone. Those are where the muscles are. Ooh, interesting. And that would mean that that's right above the glabella. That's that right there. Whoa. This is so cool. I mean, I'm I'm not doing a good job with my drawing, but um I am starting to to memorize where the anatomy is. Um so I just like I don't see myself going through the trouble of learning all of the anatomy and it not transforming the art and I want other people to to have that too so let's work on it together everybody I just made these eyes so big which I was just talking about how I was doing so good and I just like fucked it up really bad um oh well you win some you lose some is that what i've started saying it's hit and miss that's another thing i've started saying oh well <laughs> look at this guy he's like kind of smiling and looking happy <laughs> that just made me smile even more it's important when you're drawing to be your own biggest fan <laughs> And with your own videos, make if you're making videos, I highly, highly, highly recommend making videos for yourself because, um, yeah, don't don't really worry about. Uh, I mean, you can produce other content for other people. It's like totally fine. That's what you live for. But, uh, you know, I wanted to be a better artist, so that's why I became an art teacher. <laughs> and there just aren't enough artists in the world even in art school like artists are so inhibited um <laughs> that's not true for everyone but that was just like kind of one of the it was a joke like a, one of the defining characteristics of, of the art majors in LaGuardia was like we all hated our work um and that's the left brain talking. Don't listen. So the nose is actually all... I'm like, where are my shadows? I'm not even... <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't forget. I just didn't get there yet. So... Do, 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 do. Now that I got my COVID shot, that means we can have 
in person classes everybody we can do yoga in person what else uh, yeah I just want to oh and I'm gonna be working in a restaurant that's gonna be so fun I love the the job I had right before um, everything closed down was like kind of my dream job <laughs> I was uh, working in a Greek restaurant and I just, I got the job because I wanted to practice my Greek, um, but I ended up getting like one of the best spots in the city. No one thought it would happen, but it did. I thought, I knew it was going to happen the whole time. If you want to get a job at a restaurant, like walk in and pick up a broom and start following around the bussers. Or um, start washing dishes. And I'm not saying, like, do it forever, but even if it's, like, beneath you, it, like, first of all, nothing's beneath anyone. But, uh, you know, it's important to show people that you can do those foundational jobs, like... If there's a lunch rush and the dishwasher is overwhelmed, the owner of the restaurant would rush in and wash dishes. So they would be the first one to notice. Like, do 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 do. Why am I talking about washing dishes when I'm drawing my face over here? Which is actually kind kind of not so bad. I've got to say this one um, isn't isn't the worst that I've ever done. It's kind of coming along. So is it worth destroying the drawing over here? No, I'm not. I'm going to not destroy that one. So I've got my ears here. And then coming basically down by my lips is where I see these swirls. And um, my hair. There's a couple hairs here, but you can't even really see it that well. Oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. Oh man, what did I do to my shoulder? It's coming out like by my nose. See, I didn't draw my shoulder anatomy yet, so I'm fucking up by my shoulder. <laughs> um, <laughs> drawing is fun. I'm, I'm, I'm like literally loving this. Like it's fun to see that people are watching the videos. Uh, and it makes me feel like this is a legitimate art class, but uh, yeah, I'm really just practicing drawing and teaching at the same time. <laughs> I don't even know what to do over here. Let's just color it in a little bit and hope that no one notices what's going on. If you turn, oh goodness, that's what was going on. The mustache was fucked. I've got a highlight like right here and then this whole thing is a shadow I see a big old shadow oh goodness what's going on um, I was going too fast for a second where does my shoulder come out there by my eye wow really oh goodness and this eye is it's in the wrong spot it should be here oh well because now I'm trying to do the shadows down here and it's like not coming out. Oh well. <laughs> let's let's start finishing this up because I'm I'm over it. So I'm seeing a headband go like kind of like that and then my hairline goes out further and then you can't really see but uh oh goodness. I didn't even have to look up to know that that all all of this has to be way darker. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm looking at it, pretty much everything other than this line right here on the side of my face. I've got a highlight here and on my shoulder cuz the light's right there and on my nose. Um 
So if I had the patience, maybe I'll do it really quickly, at least a little bit. Um, this whole side of the face, basically, would be darker than that highlight. So once you start seeing stuff like that, um, the drawing becomes a lot less stressful because you you have the the right what is what's the word I'm looking for like um I mean it doesn't even look that good but it's on the right track what am I trying to say artistic license ah, what am I trying to huh it's just like there are fundamental rules to the way that this all works. And if you follow the rules, you'll get a good work, maybe, or something. I'm, I'm like literally about to call it quits, though. A do 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 do. That's where the muscle is. Do 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 do. Yeah, I kind of accidentally made it like really dark in some spots. Oh well, so I, I made a crappy drawing, but it's not that. It's not that crap. Do 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 do. I'm, I'm losing it though. So this is all you know. Do 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 do. Putting in some hairs. The book hasn't taught me how to draw hairs yet. It's just teaching me how to draw the skull. And <clears throat> okay, we knew the the frontalis was here. I'm like very lightly drawing it in. Do 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 do, and it goes from the brow to the hairline. Maybe I. Mm, yeah, I am. I'm gonna draw it in. So <laughs> first was the frontalis, which was orange, which goes from the brow to the hairline. I'm hoping. Th I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not really ruining the drawing. I'm I'm literally adding to it. Do 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 frontalis and then procerus is here. Goes all the way down to the brow the the nose though. So do 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 and we wanted that to be red. Do 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 and then we've got the corrugator super ciliary super silly on the side and those are kingfisher blue which way did it pull i need to know um because it seems like what is what's what's i need to maybe i need i'm gonna have to go back and learn the language but that'll come later um, this is very important. I need to know, though. So, let's look. The origin is, in the book, it's the red spot. And it's got this white thing. I don't know what it means. Like, what, it's like this white attachment. And that's at the origin. And then the origin for the procerus is on the nose. And that's where the white band is. And the origin for the corrugator super silly is actually underneath the procerus. And I'm glad I checked because I almost put them on the outside. And that would have been wrong. So they go out. No, they don't. They go in. Okay, so the white spot is where the, the arrow goes goes so this is so interesting do 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 we're learning together i mean this was the question that i was asking before do 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 these are the muscles do do and these are the white parts in the middle and the arrows is going like this so those are the white spots they're all in the bottom and they're all going this way and then the frontalis is the opposite so you know do 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 do. Um, the white parts up here, and the arrows are going up. So isn't that interesting? Should I put this in the book? 
I I am. I'm gonna put it in the book. We can always take it out later. Do 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 do. It helped me learn. Maybe it helped you learn. And we did it on video, so now I can sell it for money. J S J. Do 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 do. Anything with my signature is worth money. Do 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 do. And same thing for you guys too. So let's color that in. Do we want to keep drawing? Because no, we're at an hour and 20 minutes. I was going to start drawing in the other muscles. Yeah, let's do it really quickly. Who gives a fuck? Um, the temporal muscle was like here and the mandibular muscle. Um, I'm kidding. Um, this was the temporalis and this was the masseter. Ta-da! We are learning how to um, scaffold. Is that what it's called? Scaffolding? It's, you know, scaffolding. This is a bad drawing. Anyways, so I almost, I just drew a nine. Why did I do that? Four, 16, 20, 21, JSJ. Usually I do like colorful backgrounds and all that shit, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm I want this to be over. La 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 la. Thanks for coming to class, everybody. Thanks for listening. Um, run my videos in the background so I rack up hours. I'm just kidding. Uh, do it. I'll do it for you. Um, let's support each other as artists. We're a growing community of people who. Um, are going to draw fantastic portraits of people and have awesome figure drawing. You're going to be able to draw anyone naked and you're going to be able to make cartoon versions of yourself and draw, you know, self portraits and make them your profile picture. And maybe it'll take a little bit of time, but that's why other people think that it's such an amazing skill because uh, you get to take. I've been drawing for 10 years, so every time I draw, I'm I'm showing people what I've been doing for 10 years. Like, uh, I don't know. There's some crazy story. Oh, you did a painting. How long did it take you? And the lady was 73 years, and that's what she said. It took me 73 years because she was learning as an artist for 73 years, and that painting was the culmination of, like, her entire life. So, anyways... That's what this crap is, the culmination of my life. And when I'm dead and you're watching these videos at my funeral, um, part of me will still be alive. Just kidding, I'll be dead. But um, hopefully not anytime soon. And I totally forgot to color in. I broke the lead. All of my hair back here, but let's color it in. Do, 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 just for... Um, continuity is I guess that's a word and I also like to give myself at least a little bit of a shadow underneath the chin so let's do a really quick um, critique so do, 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 do. I'm gonna put this on the side but I'm not gonna make it part of the official book that'll just be for the people who are I don't know behind the scenes and my little butterfly signature. I mean, I'm going to make myself smaller again. It's not the worst drawing. That's what I say every single time. It's not the worst drawing. It's a drawing. If I were to hold this picture up against a picture of a dog, you'd be like, that's the guy, and that's the dog. Um, but to take that a step further, if I were to draw myself and then draw someone else, if they were two crappy drawings you would still basically be able to tell the difference so we'll just work work from there um yeah th we put all the muscles on the on the head i can clearly see how it's supposed to go further back but it's kind of cut off because of this head so i think it could probably go f like almost that much further but it's supposed to be going back in space so um, maybe if I were to outline the edges and make it darker, it would be better at communicating that it was behind me. But I just like kind of gave up. Here's my little talkie ball. 
that I always like forget to add in. Um, yeah, same thing like with my arms and stuff. I just I don't care. I'm so tired. It's been a long day, and it's so late. I need to post this so I could uh, go to bed and wake up early and do another one in the morning. Um. <laughs> So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the button. This came out pretty good. And I mean, it didn't take us that long to do, right? When we put, we went, we did extra credit, you know? We only need to do one muscle a day and we did three. Who who knew? Um, Next time I'm, I might even draw that and not even explain it. Like, uh, it's just like a, a, it's it's a ritual at this point. I'm never gonna stop doing that. Do 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 do. This was what we did last time. So let's do a little comparison. Which one do we like better? If I were to choose, um, which one I had to spend my money on, I would I would choose this one just because it's at a higher level than this one. I I literally, I I have very little comments on either one. Um. That was a really good gesture drawing. Um, I'm looking more front on in this one. So that's interesting. I've been doing a lot of side views. So hopefully we'll get to a spot where we can draw any angle with our eyes closed in our sleep. <clears throat> so itchy on my nose. Yeah, I mean, I was in a better mood when I drew this one. I'm like super tired right now. It's been a long day. Uh, our anatomy, I showed you that's what we did last time. I felt more confident drawing the skull this time. You can see it in the shadows. Uh, I started to do it a little bit in some spots, but I got more ugly lines in this drawing than I do in this drawing. So refinement of technique is one of the ways that you can improve your drawings and that's what I mean here um, quality of line and stuff like that but you don't need to keep on adding additional skills drawing isn't isn't like that so yeah you can see going further back in time let's just flip really quick you can see that we've been studying skulls a long time and we've been doing lots of portraiture I think maybe if I, uh, it's hard to say though, spending more time on a drawing doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a better drawing. So you can just take longer to draw a crappy drawing. Uh, do, 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 do. A lot of these, a lot of the anatomy drawings look like very, very similar. Um, this one just came out good. That one had a fresh flow to it that I haven't had in my other drawings. I think I started out with with the really good one here, but as I kept drawing it, get it got worse and worse. Yeah, that's pretty much it for our book. That's th that's it. We've got other drawings in our sketchbook over there, but we decided on April fifth that we were going to keep them all organized in a binder because they were just all all over the place. Um, yep, 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 yep closing my book with my crappy drawing we're 19 pages into our book you know I'm not trying to make a book I'm trying to practice drawing but uh, this is gonna be like a little portfolio of you know the year that I learned how to draw <laughs> I just I think it's so interesting I know a lot of people who have done those projects where you get to track your progress um, and it's a really fun journey. So if anyone's following my journey, you know, hopefully a year from now we'll have better videos and we'll have better drawings and we'll have a whole full class of people who are all drawing each other and we're all supporting each other's work. Um, maybe even buying each other's work. That would be fun. I want to buy yours works, but at least show me something like your homework. Because I gave you guys several different kinds of homeworks today. This, um, sorry, I'm tan I'm just ranting right now. Um, <laughs> this headband has saved my life so many times because this, there, it's got such low angled ceilings that I'm constantly slamming my head like on the sharp angles, and the headband is constantly saving me. So, um, this is the pretial bone, frontal bone, temporal bone, occipital bone. Mandible, zygomatic, orbital, 
mental protuberance and mental tubercles. We forgot that, but we remembered it. Um, there's a couple more. Sphenoid bone. Goodness. I think that was on the side. I think I remembered that one. Sphenoid bone. Ethmoid bone is in here. Oh, I learned that one too. So learning is just repetition and, you know, focus concentration. So yeah, I, I mean, we did an hour and a half class. We went overboard. That happens sometimes. Uh, generally class will be between an hour and hour and a half and I'm going to upload this and, uh, I can't wait to get your feedback. Show me y'all's works is. This came out pretty good. I'm I'm like happy with the work that we did today. And it doesn't even matter because tomorrow's a new day and we're just gonna start all over. But we're just gonna be better. And I guess maybe I'll take a day off from doing chin ups because my arm is sore, but I like actually pull ups better. I've been trying. I want to I want to look like a model for you guys. Um anyways. That's it. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love ya. Um I never know how to end these videos. Bye. <laughs> Bye.